Well, Billy, congratulations. You've been appointed the first team head coach for Bristol City Futsal Club. You must be delighted. I'm delighted to be appointed new head coach of the club. When I found out the club's vision, the direction that they want to go and the infrastructure, it was a position that I wanted straight away. You've signed an initial two-year contract with the club. What are you hoping to achieve during this time? Uh, during this time, I'll be looking to improve game by game, be competitive in the Super League, and I don't want to limit what we can achieve within the league, so we'll take it game by game and see how far this squad can go. In terms of your coaching style, what can your players expect from you? Uh, Pre-season will be tough. Uh, the first two, three weeks, there will be a high demand on their fitness, and then we'll be looking to uh, get the players to buy into our philosophy, and then um, there will be just attention to detail, and. I'll look to improve each individual. Last season you coached Bath Futsal Club in Division 2 and with this being your first coaching role in the National Super League, how big a step up are you expecting? Um, I think the step up is going to be massive. Having previously played in the Super League, um, I know the players are going to be fitter, more technical, more tactically aware of the game, so therefore my coaching, I'm going to have to make sure the sessions are detailed and that uh, everyone is prepared for the games. Previous to this appointment, you've worked closely with the club's under-18 squad. Is the pathway from the academy to the first team something you'll look to utilise as often as you can? Uh, definitely. There's six former and current uh, scholars that have come from the academy are now representing the first team this season with a number of other uh, former and current scholars that are going to represent the development squad. So that's definitely something that I want to utilise. If they're good enough, then they'll be in the squad. You meet up with the first team and the development squad tonight. How important is it for you to get your squads finalised as early as possible? Uh, it is vital that we start to get our final 15, 16, so we can work together, um, we can all get to know each other, how we play, our strengths, and all, all work towards the same goals.